show you how to take categorical data, organize it into a frequency chart, and then take that frequency chart and make some diagrams out of it. Alright, so I'm going to start with the data that we used in class, the blood group data. Now, normally you would use this for uh, in a much larger data set uh, where you didn't want to have to count everything by hand. So if you had maybe like a hundred recruits that you were testing their blood, or if you had a thousand recruits that you were testing their blood, you might not want to sit there and count everything by hand. So <coughs> we have the data here in the, Express, in the Excel spreadsheet. And what I want to do is I want to organize it into the categories the way I did in class which means the blood groups. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list just by typing in the blood groups that I want to use right here. Alright, so I have A, B, O, and A, B in this column are going to go the frequencies. Now again, if you had a larger data set and didn't want to count, Excel has a function that will do the counting for you and that, that function is count if. So the way you get, there are several ways to get a function into Excel, but the easiest way to do it is just to type. So anytime you want to put a formula in, you type an equal sign, and that tells Excel you're going to use a formula. All right, now, your most recently used formula is going to show up right over here on the left-hand side. Now, I've been using count if a lot, so it's showing up there. But if it wasn't there, you would just type in count if, and notice Excel pulls up the uh, the functions that are paired most closely with it. So here's count if. I'm going to click on that and what it does then is it tells me the format that I need to put this in. Alright, so I need to first give it a range and the range is just my data set. So I highlight my data set notice what happens right here, the range pops up. Next thing I need is a comma and then I want to count the A's. So because A is text I need to put that into quotes. So I'm going to put quote capital A, close quote, and then hit enter. And so that's telling me I have five A's. All right, now I want to repeat that process all the way down, but notice I don't necessarily have to type the entire thing. Once I type the C, maybe the CO, all right, I get count if. So I can click on that, highlight the range, comma, this time I want B, so quote B, close quote, seven B's. Right, and just repeat. So count, count if, the range, comma, and I'm doing O here, so I want to put O in there. And then the last one for AB again, count if, the range, comma, AB, and there it is. And you'll notice that that matches exactly what I had in class. Now let's neaten this up a little bit. So we'll label this column blood type and this column frequency. Alright. And alright, I guess I already had these formatted. You can format the columns any way you want. So I have these formatted to have the text. They start out not centered, centered. All right, so let's say I want to put a chart in. Notice up here you've got some choices on this little menu bar here, so I'm going to click on Charts. And one of my options here is a pie chart. Now I have to tell it what I want to put the pie chart in. So I'm going to highlight my frequency table there. And I'm going to click, I'm just going to do a simple pie chart, so right there. All right. And notice what I get. All right, it assigns colors to each of the blood groups, which correspond to the colors here. All right, and you can see as I highlight each one, it gives me a little information. It tells me the point is O, so that's blood type O. It tells me the value is nine. That means I had nine data points, and it tells me that that represents 36% of the data. Now, some of that information, maybe I want some of that information actually in the pie chart itself. So I can come up to here where it says chart layout and data labels. Open up data labels down here to percentages and if I click that now it's showing me the percentages on the pie chart 
Now I might want to neaten this up a little bit instead of just frequency because I have no other information on here. And say that this is blood type frequency. And that is one way to get a pie chart into Excel.